Okay, so you should have finished row two of the um, body and you should have 30 stitches here. And you should be about in the center of the back of the head. So what we're gonna do is just gonna loosen this. We're gonna turn to the front and we are going to mark the center stitch in the middle-ish. You can always change it up later. So I'm just gonna take this stitch for the moment. Okay, and then I'm gonna count four stitches on the side. One, two, three, four. And then the fifth stitch here, I'm gonna put another stitch marker. Then I'm gonna count one, two, three, four away and put another stitch marker here. So as you can see, I'll have three between these. So these two uh, plus these two make five. Then I should have um, one, two, three, four in between these two. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I don't think I, oh yeah. One, two, three, four on the fifth one I will mark. And then one, two, three gap, and then mark again. Now I'm gonna look how many stitches I need to get to my first stitch marker. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I get to my first stitch marker. So make sure it is six. If it is not six, for example, um, I don't know, you have, uh, if you have more than six, then move up one. So if I had seven, I'd do one stitch and then I'd move my stitch, uh, my round marker there so that I, I'm starting six away with my uh, round marker. This is important because it means that everything else then will line up. So I am six away. So I'm just going to go and do my six and start. One, two, three, four, five, six. You should be six uh, around-ish if you started in the right location on the back of the head when doing your um, attachment. Okay, now I've got one, two, three, four, five to attach my arm. So, just gonna keep my head straight. I'm gonna go get my arm. Here's my arm. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that the thumb is facing inwards. So theoretically, when the head's up, the thumb should be facing, hanging inwards with the head facing forwards. Hard to say. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of those and I'm going to flip it. So you'll see I have um, my hand here and my thumb facing towards the nose. And I'm going to make sure it's flattened so that my hand is flat. And now I can see that I have the uh, 10 stitches this, that I started with at the top of my hand around about so um should have about five on the other side so one two three four five on this side and five on the other one two three four five so what i'm going to do here to attach it is i'm going to get rid of this stitch marker here and now what i'm going to do is you need to go through the top of the hand so i've got the front here and the back here so i need to go through this not the front here but from the inside I'm going to go through that first stitch here and I'm going to go through the first stitch on the body here. I'm going to pull up a loop and go through all three, go over and go through all three, uh, two. I'm going to go through the next one on my hand, go through the second stitch here, pull through those three, go over, pull through. Go through the third stitch on my arm, through here. Pull through all three, go through, go through the fourth stitch on my arm, here, go through, go through, then I should hit this next stitch marker, so I'm going to get rid of that, I'm going to go through the fifth stitch on my arm, go through here, pull through those three, and go through. And now I'm just going to leave this arm dangling here, I should have this hole where I will attach it in the next round, and again, my thumb should be facing towards the snout. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one, go over, go through, pull over. And if you're doing a gorilla and a um, body front patch, you'll need to switch colors here. 
So I'm going to switch colors on this one. And then I'm going to do seven. So one, two, three, on four, I should hit this stitch marker in the middle. Four, five, oops, six, and then seven, and I'm going to switch back to my blue here on the seventh one, and again, do one more. It's the start of my body patch there. Now I'm going to undo this. Make sure I got my white out the way, and I'm going to get my second arm here. And again, I'm going to face it so that the um, thumb is facing upwards. And again, I'm going to find the five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I've got this um, here from where I tied off. So I'm going to shove that just in here. And again, I'm going to go in here into the first one, into the first stitch here on the body. Oh, pulling the wrong color here. I need my color on the inside too. Pull through three, pull through two, go through the second stitch here if I can find it. Go through those two on the on the body. Pull through three, pull through two. Go through the third stitch. Might be a bit difficult to find because it's the one that um, has the attachment here. Kind of goes into the middle again. Try and get rid of. Um, this long end either into the body or into um, the hand. So go through here, pull through three, pull through two, go through the fourth one, pull through three, pull through two. Should hit my stitch marker with the fifth one. So go through the fifth, pull through three, pull through two. And then I should finish it off with one, two, three, four, five stitches. And then I should hit my stitch marker. So this round is really important to make sure that you're centered. You need to, um, you can see like the arms are getting attached now here to the head. And you need to make sure that you are centered so that all the next rows actually line up. So make sure about that. So again, count them up and make sure you set your stitch marker six before you start the arm. Okay, so now that you've done the first row of the body, you should have the top part of the arms attached and the bottom part is just kind of hanging down here. Should still be generally in the middle and you should see about six stitches um, before the arms are attached. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this one is actually the first attachment. So that works perfectly. So I'm just going to do this second row and you will attach the legs exactly in the same manner in the two rows that do the legs. For the tail, you'll just go through both uh, back and front stitches. So attach them in one row. So we're going to do one increase. Three. And then we should get an increase just before the arm attachment increase. Then again for the next five, we will in, uh, attach the arm. So our arms are hanging down, the thumbs are facing towards the nose. And we should see one, two, three, four, five-ish stitches. One, two, three, four, five stitches left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the outside to the inside 
through this stitch and the one that's next this one then I'm gonna go through the stitch on the body yarn over pull through all four go through so that was one this I like to just hide inside the arm and I'll find the next stitch I'll go through I make it more secure and go down here go through the body go through both on over so that's two again tuck this in out the way and I'm gonna go uh, through the third stitch which is this one here sometimes hard to see it doesn't really matter as long as you get five where you're going go through here pull through all yarn over that was three here's my four again pull through and then the last one is over here go through five then if you're doing uh, the color on the front you should see that you have one stitch left over before the colored one so we're going to increase into this one so one and two and then on that second one we will switch to our contrast color Go. Make sure you leave enough space so that it doesn't get tight. And then we're going to do seven. So one, two, let's get that cut yarn over here, three, let me just move this one up so you can actually see, four. Now you'll see it kind of went out a bit here and it's going in a bit here. So this increase is going to get the first increase into this blue one is going to be yellow. Switch back to blue. And then the second increase will be blue. That makes the white patch a bit more even. And then again, we have move my stitch marker out the way. Um, five again for the arm. So again, my thumb is pointing towards the nose. And again, I should have one, two, three, four, five stitches up here. So again, I'm gonna go from the outside to the inside through this stitch. And then I'm gonna go through my stitch on the body, pull through all, pull yarn over, pull through two. Second one, go through, go through here, pull through them, yarn over two three it's a bit more tight here four and then the last one you sometimes have to dig just use whatever you've got as these aren't stuffed nothing will come out anyway five and then after doing these five we're going to do increase three increase so increase one two three increase and then we should end up again at our stitch marker increase one two three three increase there we go now we're at our stitch marker, I'm just going to loosen this so that I can show you guys. Now you can see that we have no sew attached the arms to the side and our body patch is moving along quite nicely. So now you're just going to go to the body. You will attach the legs in exactly the same way, making sure um, if you're doing the lovey version, then there'll be a video for that. But if you're doing the uh, 
the sitting version, you just attach the legs the same way. Make sure, again, the thumb is pointing inwards for the legs. And also make sure that you uh, mark out with stitch markers where the leg stitches would be first to make sure that they're centered. If they're not, just move them a bit to make sure. Depending on people's tension, you sometimes get a slightly different stitch count at the end. That's why always make sure you're centered. 